Hey guys, this week's video I have a haul for you guys, as you can tell by the title. Um, I have the books sitting, yeah, sitting right here. <laughs> I was trying to make sure that there wasn't like an address or anything showing. Um, I have to show you guys, one, two, three, four, four books that I bought. And I bought them all from Barnes & Noble. I think you already know by this point that I buy all my books pretty much by Barnes, from Barnes & Noble. Um, but I got these online because, I don't know, uh, I just bought them online this time. <laughs> okay, so three of the books that I bought are about vampires. And it was because I started looking for like more vampire books because it's been a while since I've read like just books that have vampires in them so I found this list online which I'm gonna link below so you can check it out and um, I was reading the descriptions I feel like that sounds weird the descriptions of some of the books that they listed um, I think it was like a hundred or fifty different books or whatever they have vampires in them and um, some of them I didn't even know about so I bought a few <laughs> um, yeah and another one I got because it was on sale I'm gonna start off with the one that isn't a vampire book and it's How to Be an American Housewife by Margaret Dilloway and I picked it up because it was on sale for $4.98 and I needed to round out my purchase to $25 for free shipping so I picked this up and actually I've been looking at this book every, um, every time that I go inside Barnes & Noble like the store um, I always see this in the sales section and I pick it up but I never buy it so this gave me an excuse to buy it yeah, I don't know. I picked this up because it sounded interesting. It kind of remem it reminds me of like the Joy Luck Club um, and I forgot what else. But, and then I'll read you the back. Well, I'll read part of the back because it's pretty big. Uh, long. <laughs> uh, when Shoko decided to marry an American GI in leave Japan, she had her parents blessing, her brother's scorn, and a gift for her betrothed. A book titled How to Be an American Housewife. As she crossed the ocean to America, Shoko also carried a secret she wanted to keep her entire life. And they talk about how she doesn't get to go to Japan because she gets sick and she sends her American daughter um, to go in her place. Um, I don't know, I just, I loved the Joy Love Club when I was younger, so I figured this, I don't know, something about it kind of made me think of it, so. Okay, so the first vampire book that I picked up at Barnes & Noble is In the Forest of the Night by Amelia Atwater Rhodes, a Den of Shadows book. So I guess this is part of a series. So this is a teen book. I can definitely tell by the fonts and stuff. But that does not dissuade me. I read the description on the website and I thought it sounded interesting so that's why I got it. Um, and it's a really thin book. It's a very small book. Okay, this one I'll read the back for you. It says, By day, Rusika sleeps in a shaded room in Concord, Massachusetts. By night, she hunts the street of New York City. She is used to being alone, but someone is following Rusika. He has left her a black rose, the same sort of rose that sealed her fate 300 years ago. 300 years ago, Rusika had a family, a brother, and a father who loved her. 300 years ago, she was human. Now she's a vampire, a powerful one, and her past has come back to torment her. So, I picked this up because it kind of reminded me of... Um, the Winter Witch, which I mentioned in my IREC video where it says where um, I talk about witch books that I like. And in that one, in The Winter Witch, you have um, this guy who is after the witch and has been like chasing her for like centuries and she keeps like hiding from him. Um, so I don't know, the description of this kind of sounded not similar, but that's what it put me in mind of. So, okay, so the next book that I bought is this one, Companions of the Night by Vivian Van de Veld, Van de Veld, I don't know, <laughs> I think that's how you say it, um, and I think this is another teen book, I'm pretty sure, it's another thin one as well, so I'll get, I'll probably read this really quick, I liked the description for the book, so that's why I picked it up, um, and this one I'll read the back for you really quick, it says, Vampires in Brockport, when Carrie finds herself sharing a late night laundromat with a group of vigilante vampire hunters, and their handsome prisoner. Her first instinct is to help the injured boy. <sighs> I don't know, I feel out of breath. 
He looks like a regular college kid, but her kindness leads Ethan's crazed captors to believe she is one of them, and Carrie and Ethan's escape thrust her into a dangerous midnight world she never knew existed. So, boy, vampire, girl, gets thrown into his world. <laughs> and then the last book that I picked up is The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. I think that's how you say her name. And this is a bigger book. It has like 900 something pages. 901. Hold on. Nope. 909 pages. Um, so it's definitely bigger than the other ones. But I've read bigger books than this. Um, and this seemed really interesting. I Okay, so this is, I'll tell you, I'll read you the back really quick. The historian is the story of a young woman plunged into a labyrinth where the secrets of her family's past connect to an inconceivable evil, the dark brain of Vlad the Impaler, Impaler? <laughs> Vlad the Impaler, and a time-defying pact that may have kept his awful work alive through the ages, and there's more, but <laughs> you get the gist of it. So it's about Vlad the Impaler and a girl finding out the secret that's in her family that her father had after he passes. She f tries to like figure out what that secret was. So um, the reviews were really high for this, so that's why I picked it up as well. All right, so those are all the books that I bought um, for this month. And of course, <laughs> I'll be back next month with another haul. I will list all the books that I bought. I'll list them below in the description area, also where you could find me and um oh yeah and then the the website for the list of vampire books that i saw which inspired me to buy like three of those books anyways so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week with a new video bye